Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 3rd to June 9th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's go. Let's see. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what is Cancer's energy in regards to love for this week? What's the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week? All right. First card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the High Priestess. We also have the Seven of Wands, and at the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see what's going on. Wheel of Fortune. I'm definitely getting an energy of you trying to distance yourself. I, I am getting that energy of you trying to distance yourself from a specific individual or from a specific relationship that you don't feel serves you in any positive way. Some of you are giving someone that's the silent treatment. You're giving an, you're giving an individual here the silent treatment, someone someone who you don't really want to communicate with or you don't want them to communicate with you for whatever reason i feel like you're a lot more focused on your work your career your money situation your goals your responsibilities um, it kind of looks like Those are your priorities. That's what you're prioritizing currently in your life. Not this person, not this relationship. Okay, let's clarify here. Yeah, I feel like you, per you want this person to stay away from you with the seven ones. You feel like you need to guard yourself against this person all right spirit tell me about the queen of pentacles please and cancer's energy some of you know i'm getting that some of you know that this person's going to return back to you at some point and you're trying to prepare yourself for, for when that happens. Um, I feel like you don't want to give in, give in to them. You don't want to give in to them because you know that they're going to try to get back together with you. And I feel like you're preparing yourself to not give in to them. You're very intuitive is what I'm getting. Tell me about the uh, Queen of Pentacles in Cancer's energy. All right, so we do have the Six of Cups here in your energy. So this is someone who you do um, have strong feelings for. Yeah. Though you might not have as strong feelings as you did in the beginning you might not currently have as strong of of feelings for them i 
I am getting that. I am getting that a little bit. I feel like um, there's something about you that has evolved or grown, matured. And I feel like the, the magic that this connection had in the beginning, it's wearing off, you know, or the connection that you once felt, the emotional connection that you once felt, it's kind of wearing off. It's not as strong. It's not gone 100%, but it's not as strong is what I'm getting. You're a lot more connected to yourself now and to your values and your self-worth. And because of that, you don't find this person as attractive anymore as you did before. Because they don't really align with what you consider valuable. With what you would consider valuable. Okay. Um, I think I want to look at the high priestess. Spirit, tell me about the high priestess. High Priestess to the Wheel of Fortune, or just High Priestess. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you need to make a head over heart decision to keep this person um, away from you and not allow them to have access to you anymore or have a new beginning with you. Yeah, you feel like you need to be practical, rational, logical, instead of emotional. Because you don't feel safe with this person and you feel like this person is very unreliable and unstable. So I'm getting a strong energy of you making a head over heart decision to continue blocking this person or rejecting this person or you know maintaining boundaries here with this person okay let's take a look at your person's energy now let's see here we go i don't want to take this one All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Cancer, please, for this week? All right, so in this person's energy towards you we do have the nine of cups some of you might be dealing with a pisces we also have the queen of wands in their energy okay and also the fool you might be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles oh boy okay Yeah, they had the Seven of Wands on their side. I should have kept that card. Where is it? Now I want to look at it. Uh, I can't find the card. The one that showed up here. I put it away. Yeah, it just kind of... Here it is, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it just kind of looks like this person, um, man, I'm getting a selfish vibe from them, to be honest with you. I'm getting a selfish vibe. Uh, this person has a lot of ego and pride and they're very selfish is what I'm getting. 
I see why you want to block them. I see that. I get it now. I get it. Now I want to clarify the seven of wands because this is why I took out the card because I feel like this is them. So let me just look at the seven of wands here. Now I do see a third party situation here. Um, I do feel like whenever things went south between the two of you, this person wasted no time to move forward in their life and replace you with somebody else. Um, I do feel like uh, Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups, this is somebody else who this person connected with. Um, it's a very superficial relationship. It's a very, you know, meaningless relationship. It wasn't meant to be anything. Um, I feel like this person just needed a distraction, just needed someone to give them attention, you know, and just wanted to, you know, take their mind off of you. So um, they, wasted, they wasted no time to immediately connect with someone new or connect with someone else. That's something that you didn't do. That's something that you didn't do at all. Very far from that. I feel like you decided to focus on yourself, focus on your healing, and prioritize your goals and your responsibilities. Very different than what this person decided to do. Okay. I'm definitely getting a very my way or the highway type of energy from them. I feel like this person is very controlling. Um, it feels a little bit of, they feel like a little bit of a dictator. Also. And I'm getting like a, a manipulation energy from them also, like very manipulative. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Yeah, it's like they have a really bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Especially when things don't go their way. They, they have this really bad attitude of, of, I don't care. I don't care about anyone. I don't care about anything. You know, I don't need you. I don't need anyone. But it's coming from a place of ego, you know. All right, so we do have the Tower card here. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. And yeah, we have the Five of Swords here. Tell me, about, tell me more about the Seven of Wands with the Page of Swords. Yeah, this person loves attention. Five of Cups, yeah. This person loves attention. Yeah, I'm getting a very me, me, me vibe from them. Me, me, me. It's all about me. The world revolves around me, and about and the world re the world revolves around me and and my needs and my wants and my desires and my feelings. So with the Page of Swords here. I feel like this person is hoping that you're watching them. So I feel like that's another reason why they went ahead and connected to someone new or, or someone different. Because they definitely wanted to see if, if, you would, if you would see them. They wanted to see if you would notice them connecting to someone else in hopes that you might get jealous and hopes to provoke a reaction out of you because they want you to chase them, you know? That's what they want. They want you to chase them. They want you to, be to become codependent off of them. They want you to feel 
codependent of them. Yeah. So I do see this person, you know, pretending that like in a discreet way or in an indirect way, I feel like they're going to try to like pretend that they're with someone else, you know, that they're talking to someone else. It's like they want you to have that impression of them. They want you to think that about them. Again, they want you to feel jealous. Um, they are going to be watching you and spying on you, even though they're going to act like they're not watching you and like they're not spying on you, but they are. They're definitely watching you and spying on you because they want to see you react to them being cold towards you and, you know, ignoring you seemingly and talking to someone new. It's a game, you know, it's all it's all a game that they're playing. It's a very big game. Okay, so Cancer, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take toward you moving forward and what will the outcome be? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.